Quiero ver la mecánica. Baseball, the all-American sport with a global reach. Baltimore Orioles players coach young athletes from Mexico, Panama, and Ecuador. They teach us things we don't know and teach us new ways to do things. These young people are taking part in a program that the Obama administration calls an exercise in smart power. Officials say smart power is investing time and money on defense, diplomacy, and development and is not a diversion from tackling major crises. Without smart power, without people-to-people -people exchanges, uh, we would have a lot tougher time uh, with those issues uh, than we do now because uh, now we have people who know how to deal with us, know where we're coming from. The administration says smart power, building coalitions, promoting democracy, was effective in bringing down Muammar Gaddafi from power last year in Libya. It's also being used in Syria, but not with the same results. Critics say the U.S. should have taken on a more aggressive approach earlier. When you try to move that, uh, that type of engagement to a much more complex uh, conflict like that in Syria, where we have much greater strategic interests, in the end it, it shows that it, you really can't translate the notion of leading from behind to other, other interventions. The U.S. has tried to help unite the Syrian opposition with a $45 million soft power technology initiative, helping activists avoid government surveillance. But it's run into a roadblock, its own sanctions meant to cripple the Assad regime. They restrict which technologies can be made available to Syrians. Back on the baseball diamond, smart power is also star power. These young people are getting tips and souvenirs from a hometown hero, Miguel Gonzalez. It's nice to see someone representing Mexico on the professional level. Building personal goodwill, hoping for a payoff in times of major international crisis. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.